Looks like our friend Vivo is talking some smack. Talking some smack about Brian at the Whatever Podcast. Let's see what um, Bevo has to say, shall we? We get to the Whatever Podcast. I weren't supposed to be on there. The girls sit down. I finally come in. Brian comes up to me and says, I look, we need to spice some things up. Um, basically say that you are in an open relationship and basically she sees other guys and she sees other girls. And me being me thinking, oh, yeah. What a crock of dog shit. what an absolute crock of shit. okay i gotta i gotta rewind this guys i gotta rewind this make sure that i get this correct here uh brian if you're still watching brian if you're still watching you didn't go over to this guy and tell this guy that you needed to spice up the content so he needed to pretend he was a on the internet did you i don't think that that happened yeah, right. Yeah, right. Cope is out of control. Um, let's run with it. Um, so yeah, I've done that. I'm trying to keep this short because I, I can spend 10 minutes talking about this. So we've run with that, sat down. I basically written Sophia's leg um, open because they come around last age. Yeah, your status of relationship, what you do, blah, blah, blah. Um, so for it open, she's wrong with open. Bear in mind, she don't know this whole plan of this whole open relationship. She sleeps with other men, I sleep with other girls. But which I do want to clarify, me and Sophia are in a close, healthy, happy relationship. What? What? Bro. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, just so that you understand. I need you to really get on the same page with me. Isn't it? Isn't it true that Brian came over to me and told me to pretend that my old lady got played by other men? That's what he said. He said, go on stage and tell other people that your old lady gets plowed and stuffed by other males who aren't you. And that's what I did. Isn't it? Isn't it? That's what you do. Because of the viral clips, I wanted to make sure that people thought that all the men saw my chick's face and that that was completely okay with me. That's exactly how I do things out here. What the fuck is that? Yeah, fucking right. I'm calling bullshit on that, son. No one else is involved. Um, I just always get that clear because, again, I've got a lot of stick online with the clips. Yeah, it's um, online with the clips. And with DMs, and she's getting Isn't hate, it? which Isn't I it? didn't want. I was just trying to do it to promote us and like herself, you know? So, yeah, we've done that. We've rolled with that. And I'm not going to lie. It just got out of hand. Um... I feel violated, I'm not going to lie, because it feels like, for me, I look <laughs> like a, a devalued man. Um, again, my... Ah, now we get to the heart of it. Brian says, they asked to be on the show. Does not surprise me. He said in the beginning, Brian, if you, if you remember, that he was not even supposed to be on, but now he was supposed to get 150 bucks. If what happened here, at least what I can ascertain thus far uh his dad called him or his family called him because he mentioned that they watched the podcast after those people called him and were like no you're a christian you can't be letting your f***ing chick get plowed by other people what the hell is wrong with you you can't be a cuck we're not going to allow you to be a cuck and be in our family he was like okay sh wait you know what brian put me up to all of it and i was going to just sell sell myself out for 150 bucks what the f is this I understand that a podcast is there to make money, but to manipulate. Uh, gonna guess him derogatorily calling you a god lover didn't help with his parents. Yeah, probably not. Like someone and try and devalue myself as a man uh, for their financial gain. I remember, and in, in this is this is really what you should hone in on. The thing that really got Bevo. The thing that really made it click, made the light bulb go off, is when I said, no matter how much money you have, the poorest man on earth who does not share his women with other men will think he's better than you and will always be more wealthy than you are. And that just pissed that guy off. I mean, you could see him instantly turn from the nice Bevo into like... um you know, a gremlin, essentially, instantly turned into the gremlin where he's like, nah, nah, nah. 
If you allow other men on purpose to hump your chick, you're scum. That's just the way it is. I just think it's disgusting. Um, Sophia's been receiving a lot of horrible messages. I've been receiving a lot of horrible messages. And realistically, it's not what I want. I am, I am a humble guy. Um, yeah, we just, we just want to live life and make content for you guys. I want to show the clip now anyway where I go. It was a troll because all these clips on TikTok haven't got this in, so I play it now. Listen, me and Sophia are in a solid, normal relationship. We're not in Where an open you? relationship. By other men. No way, she doesn't, funny enough. I've pranked you all. Subscribe to Sister Bella. She pays my holidays. She pays for everything. Big up the sugar mamas. Big up Sister Bella on OF, yeah? I'm going to live my life. Okay. We crack on all with right. God. Right. Have a good one. Cheers. So, yeah. Well, this was actually an own against you. So, either we have to believe one of three wild tales. Wild tale number one. You, unscheduled, were invited onto the Whatever Podcast. Brian plots with you pre-podcast. You can't prove any of this. And says to you that he is going to give you the sum of $150 to pretend that you're a cuck so that he can get some viral clips and you agree. That already does not look bad on Brian. Even if that was true, let's just grant it was true, that still looks bad on Bevo. That's still bad for Bevo. That's a bad narrative. So let's shift to narrative two, which is also a stupid narrative, which is that, no, we concocted this in order to troll the whatever podcast. This means that you purposely went on with your chick to pretend that you were a cuck, hoping that you would get viral clips. And when that didn't work out, you blamed Brian. But let's move over to his narrative. Option three, which also looks terrible which is that as you're storming out, you come back to give me a 1-4 and explain to Andrew Wilson, no, this was all a LARP, when you could have actually pointed at Brian and said, tell him, Brian. But he didn't do that. Why wouldn't you go to Brian right then and say, Brian, tell him you put us up to this and that I'm not a cuck, that, that I was just doing this to help the show? That would have been the move. Not the copy, not the not the cope. That was just pure cope. It, it looked like he was trying to save face. None of these, no matter which one of these scenarios he picks, is good for him. Not one. None of them.